Hey guys, it's that dividend guy here, and again with another episode on how my dividend portfolio is doing. I'm super excited. <laughs> um, I'm going to get paid by Altria Group MO on the 15th. That's the last payment that I get this month, but I will be reinvesting into more shares, so I'm very excited. Um, and let's look and see how my portfolio is doing. So on the day I'm up about $87. That'll fluctuate, so no big deal. On um, the week, I'm only up 50 cents, so not even a percentage. Wow. The month, I'm up 273. Three months, I'm up 544. Over the year, I'm up $350. And my all time, up $332. So, not doing too bad, as you can tell. Up about 2.2%. So, since last April. <coughs> so, a little over a year now in the stock market, according to Robinhood, and that's that's great. You know, I'm 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 up over <laughs> over a year, so that's that's had a lot of ups and downs and whatnot. But so overall, we're doing really well. Uh, let's look real quick and see where our boys are at today. So let's look at the uh, total gain loss. Ooh, right to the heart. I knew Altria Group was going to be down. I. No, my average cost is about 45 Yep. So it's climbing back up there. I'm still considering this a buy, and hopefully by the 15th, so in about eight days when my dividends roll in, hopefully they're still down to a point where I feel like they're a buy. If not, then I'll probably put it towards something like the Coca-Cola shares that I own. Up $50 on Coca-Cola. For me, Coca-Cola has kind of been a sideways trade just because uh, it's been pretty close, you know, a couple, couple bucks up. And then it fluctuates, so not terrible. Uh, up four hundred and thirteen dollars on AT and T. AT and T's been on a tear; it has been for a while. As you can see, my average cost. I haven't bought any since it since it rolled up to the thirty six, thirty seven dollar mark. So I'm a little ticked about this because remember I told you guys in another video, a billionaire or multi millionaire guy decided he needed to dump a bunch of money in AT and T shares. And get enough to influence the board, which is good. It's going to help AT and T. It's going to cut some of their losses, take out some of their debt. It's going to help them grow as a company and make them a lot more stable. But kind of pisses me off because I have to increase my average cost now. But that's okay. I saw the Warner average uh, acquisition as a very big bonus for me. I was just going to buy AT and T for AT and T. But then once they announced that, I jumped right in, bought enough shares for me to buy it at the average price it was at, which was about thirty one dollars. As you can see, it's 3110. 62 shares would be about 3050 plus whatever dividends I had left over from my previous month. I could buy a share of AT&T, but that's no longer the case. <laughs> They're up so high. Next, Abvi, which I'm kind of surprised I'm up on. Uh, dang it, I was hoping I'd be down for a while on this one. $72 is my average cost. I still have enough to buy another share, uh, but it's up to $74 a share. But I love Abvi. As you can see, it's a third of my portfolio. It's a little higher than I'd like it to be, but it's a great dividend stock. So we're up on Abby, which is new because usually we're down on that. Uh, then we have Exxon Mobil, which I'm down. Wah, 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 68. I bought it at 73. This would be a great buy for me personally uh, at these rates. So down $140, about 13%, 15% of my portfolio. Not too bad. Not surprised with Exxon. I know it's, it's oil, so it'll go up and down. Next. Excuse me. Um, we have Target, which they have been just like AT and T. Kind of weirdly, uh, retail has kind of bounced back. So people keep saying that Amazon's destroying them. It does not look like it because it's been on a tear. Eighty-seven dollars is my average cost. This is one of the dividend kings that I would keep buying, just not at these levels. Uh, at a PE of eighteen, it's a little overpriced. My PE ratio usually goes for fifteen, so it's just a little overpriced for me. But I don't want to jump, you know, twenty dollars now per share. That just seems dumb. If I was willing to buy it at that price, this just seems way too big of a hike. So when retail takes another hit, I will scoop it up. But for now, I'm pretty happy on that position. I'll just focus on Exxon, and then we have uh, Walgreens, which I'm down a dollar eighty. I only have one share, so again, really good time to buy for me personally on Walgreens. As you can see, it's been up and down a lot, but it's it's uh close to becoming a dividend king so i purchased it 
But <clears throat> for me, the buys that I would have, obviously, for the first month of the year is all three group. That's what I'm focused on. Next is definitely Abdi because it's closer to price than AT&T is. And then, of course, we have ExxonMobil and now um, Walgreens are both down significantly, which means I should be buying them. Excuse me. Apparently, I'm tired today. <laughs> um, so... As you guys can see, portfolio is up overall, but I do have some pretty good opportunities to buy. So if Altria Group stays where it's at, um, I probably will be buying two shares of it. But I could go ahead and buy a share of Altria Group and maybe a share of uh, Walgreens. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's been my, uh, my portfolio performance. Uh, remember, I do not only these videos. I've got like streaming wars. As you can see, I'll probably be doing another video of those because Netflix stocks declined. So I'll go, I'll go into that uh, in a different video. But I've got my dividend portfolio. I've got streaming wars. I have stocks you can buy and hold forever series. Um, I've got stocks to hold in the downturn, just like Warren Buffett quotes. I started an Instagram stories thing. I've got so much content planned, guys. It's crazy. So remember to hit that subscribe button, that red button down there, and knock out the subscribe button, click it, that way you get a notification, excuse me, uh, knock out the bell, bell icon so you can get notified for every time I post a video. And in the description below, there is a link to my YouTube channel. So if you're just watching this video, you can click on that. You can go to my channel, watch all my content. I have loads of their, lo loads of different videos up there already. It's kind of crazy. And uh, <laughs> also I do have a Robinhood referral link. That's my link. So when you click it, I'll get a free stock when you sign up and you will also get a free stock. So it's a good way to just start, get your toes dipped in the water, you know, get you a three to $7 stock or whatever gets you, or you, I mean, you can get Berkshire Hathaway, you get Apple. There's a lot of different stocks that you can get, but it's a good way for you to get comfortable, get a free stock before you even have to put cash in there. So thank you guys again, or excuse me, when you fund your account, you get the, you get the stock. So um, it's a good way for both of us to grow. And uh, it's, a, it's a great way for you to just get some free cash. So my roommate did it and one of my friends did it. So it's like three to seven bucks, free money, why not? So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Remember that there is a Robinhood referral link down there for you guys to click it. And then we both get a little richer. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The portfolio is pretty much green with a couple of buys, so not doing too bad. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow for another update. Take care.